Hi there. In previous video, I explained attribute selectors in CSS with few examples. In this video, I will explain backdrop CSS pseudo elements. The backdrop CSS pseudo element creates a backdrop that covers the entire viewport and is rendered immediately below a dialog or any other element that enters full screen mode using the full screen API. Let me show you with CSS. Let's say we have one dialog element, dialog tag, and the pseudo element backdrop. And we can give here color to this backdrop pseudo element. And we have to hook into some styling the full background behind elements when the browser is in full screen mode and when you say full screen mode what we are talking about is browser taking up the entire screen of monitor not to be confused with the browser viewport often full screen mode is triggered by an option in the operating system to expand the window so backdrop does not inherit from any element and is not inherit from so there is no cascade happening where you might run into a conflict between the backdrops of two elements. Let me show you with an example. In HTML, let's add some code. For example, here I'm adding one button and class. here and here I am giving one event on click equal to function open dialog is the function I am calling on click let me move it into the content yeah that's fine and let's create dialog and in dialog, I'm adding one H2. Let's say uh, open dialog window title and below the paragraph. Can you see my backdrop? That's a paragraph and again another button class button on click under function close dialog and here the close button is there let's see so as you can see button is rendered button is there and on button where there is one on click event the open dialog function is there in JS file let's write down that function there is one dialog which are, we are selecting from document document dot query selector dialog function let's copy that function dialog here dialog dot show modal function and another function is dialog dialog dot close so these are the functions and in css we will write down some css later so let's see as you can see the pop-up is there when you click on the click here 
there is some issue with ah okay it should be close not close it yeah the pop-up is working fine so here we can write down some css for example dialog and backdrop here you can add a background color let's say black how it sounds how it shows see you can see the background color is there in the backdrop we can make few changes in dialog as well in dialog s2 is there we can change the font size to it's a 40 pixel paragraph font size 16 pixel margin let's say 20 pixel zero and here in background we can give rgba as well and here you can give some value let's say 0 0.9 for example as you can see there is a background color let's inspect that and see where is that css so here when you inspect the dialog in the css in the style you can see some inbuilt css from the browser dialog internal model some CSS position and the CSS is there and apart from that there it is dialog pseudo element backdrop and background color if you change here to something else it will get reflected so this is the main use of backdrop pseudo selector so backdrop can be used to style behind a dialog when the dialog is displayed with html dialog element dot show model the function which i used here show model which is currently experimental but it is what provides the backdrop right so now when you click on the button it is opening the dialog and the css is working fine you can write down the css for changing background color to some let's say here we can give dark orange for example and you can also uh, add background image and in background image you can give linear gradient which looks fine when you work with the background so it's up to you how you want to style it right so when the media like images and videos enters the full screen, it is possible that they won't cover the entire viewport. There might be empty space around it. So currently Chrome's default style for the back backdrop is something we can see in the browser. Let me open it. Yeah. This is the default CSS which Chrome is providing position top right bottom left and background with backdrop we can style it ourselves or simply tweak that's what already there right so we can add this backdrop to videos as well as image as any any element you want so that's all for this video I hope you learned something new today. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. See you soon. Thank you.